This video is about how I retouched this image and now this image was taken by a photographer and he's called Wale Visuals and it was his part of his retouching challenge number five on his Instagram. So I'm going to put his link down in the description and big ups to Wale Visuals if you're watching this video. Thank you so much. I learned so much about you and from you and thank you that i made it to the top series i didn't win in the previous challenge but this is how i did the retouching for this image for challenge number five from wally visuals so uh before you can go on i'm running from running photography and thank you for watching this video and if you're watching subscribe and you know if you subscribe you can easily upgrade your photography from 50 percent to around 90 percent to around 90 percent so click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notifications bell drop a comment if at all you are inspired by this video so let me show you guys what i did for this particular image taken by wale visuals and it was retouching challenge number five as you can see right up here so i want to show you guys how the image was and what i did so the challenge was about the challenge was to take around 48 hours and yeah for this image actually i've taken so so much time i've never taken so much time editing this image so i'm hoping to win so if at all you're watching this video yeah i'm kind of pulling your legs so let me show you guys what i did for this image so remember uh the image was initially like this so I transformed it to this so i want to take you through the steps i did when as retouching this particular image so let me show you guys right now as you can see i had to label each and everything so that you guys can uh, know what i did to achieve these results so what i usually do before even removing the blemishes from the image i'm going to okay let me let me figure out something right here so what i usually do when i'm retouching this image i usually duplicate my background layer i make one copy then i'll come and play my frequency separation action and if you don't have it i have a link i'm going to put a link somewhere so that you can download it from a particular video i uploaded a while back so what i did I did my frequency separation so this was the before and the after before after I really took my time when I was uh, doing my frequency separation and I used the mixer brush tool and if you haven't watched videos of how I use the mixer brush tool I'm going to put the link for you down in the description or it may appear right above this video so you can watch how I use my mixer brush tool and the settings too for a mixer brush tool yeah i mentioned everything in the video so this was the before and the after frequency separation so what i did i used the mixer brush tool to blend uh i used it to blend these uneven skin tones and uh, harmonize them and after i applied the lasso tool method of frequency separation to fine tune the image so i achieved these results so usually after doing my frequency separation i do my dodging and burning to add some shape uh and maybe some contouring and give dimension to, to my image so this was the before and after and for my dodging and burning as you can see let me open my dodge and burn uh, i use my curves and i use a white brush to paint over uh, a black mask i don't know if i make sense and when I select my brush, I uh, usually the opacity is at around 13. So I do my dodging and burning. So I'm going to close this. So this was the before dodging and burning and this was the after dodging and burning. You guys can see the difference dodging and burning uh, brings to your images. So this is the global dodging and burning, not the micro dodge and burning. So I have a video about that too. Check throughout the videos on this channel and yeah you learn so so much from 
uh, my global dodging and burning and your portraits will be pushed from uh let me say from 70 to around 200 percent i don't know if i make sense but so this was the before then this is the after global dodging and burning so after that i did my color grading because i wanted this image to pop and have enough color in it so i did my color grading so as you can see uh what i use for my color grading usually i create a black and white layer and i i change the blending uh mode to overlay and i reduce the opacity then i create a second black and white layer and this time i use the blending as multiply and uh, my opacity is at nine percent and since these two usually dark in the image i had to adjust my brightness of the image then i came to my selective color i did some adjustments and i came to my color balance i did this adjustment i added some bit of that red orangish feel and then i increased the brightness because i thought the image was really dark then i applied my gradient maps and i increased the brightness still so uh this was the image after color grading so before after before after you can see the image really has life and it is really popping so after this i used actually uh wale visuals um actions the ones he uploaded on his channel a while back and yeah these things are really magic and i also tried to copy the same and i created a video about it about how you can enhance makeup in your portrait so as you can see what i did here i did the darkening of the eyebrows you can see uh let me zoom in for you guys so what i did i darkened the eyebrows so before after before after you can see a difference and now i did the darkening of the eyelashes you can see the difference right now on the eyelashes then i did the eyeshadow popper so i made the eyeshadow pop a little bit then i did the darkening of the nostrils you can see they are really dark now before after you can see the nostrils then i did some lip enhancement so before after i don't know if you guys can see the lips before after they are really popping but it is subtle so this was the enhancement so this is the before and the after for the enhancements so what i did i created a stamp visible layer um this was my stamp visible layer and i had to duplicate it uh then i came to my camera roll to uh whiten the eyes a little bit more so this was the before and after you can see the eyes are really white and now they are popping and it is adding this little bit of glamour look to the image so this is what i did for my overall retouching so a quick recap of what i did i did my frequency separation you can see the image before and after then i did my dodging and burning globally this is not the micro so i was adding some contouring and adding shape to the image then i did my color grading so before and after color grading you can see these warm rich tones then i did my uh, enhancements on the eyelashes and eyebrows so before after and i did my eye and teeth whitening so if at all you have loved this video and yeah you'd like to learn so much from this channel don't forget to subscribe to us and you'll push your photography game from um from just where you are right now and you'll push it to a very very big level and you'll get more clients so make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the like button and comment in the comment section if at all you have loved and learned something from this video i'm ronix from ronix photograph and wale visuals thank you for these retouching challenges they are greatly improving most of us out here and keep them coming i'm running from running photography till next time